Hello, how are you? Um, I'm going to try and film today because I feel like a proper competition winner. This is a massive exciting day for me because I'm working for DAZN for the Women's Champions League, which is like a dream come true. Very excited to be doing that, but I'm also sat outside Arsenal's training centre in London Coney because this is where we're filming today and then we're going to go to the Emirates after uh, to meet with the Juventus team. So um, it's quite an exciting day. I'm really like, oh. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. I've been in here before, but I feel like a proper nervous freak. There we go. Maybe I should just sit here for the rest of the day and just look at this view and pretend I'm doing something. Feels close enough, doesn't it? Okay, I'm on the pitch, I'm on the Arsenal pitch. This doesn't happen often. It'll probably never happen again. I think the lads are over there training, maybe the youngsters. And Arsenal women are going to come out soon. We've just started um, filming and, and, and getting the show underway for the zone. So it's going to be on the zone tomorrow night, the Women's Champions League, Arsenal against Juventus. It's of course at the Emirates, I'm going to be there. Um, but it's the build up show um, to kick off, which of course is streamed in the zone. So it's very exciting. It's a very cool team, really, all in there. They're really lovely. And everyone should be out soon. All the players. really lovely isn't it? I'll show you my boots in a second. Look these over there. Can you see them? Hello! Where did you see my boots? Pitch guy wasn't happy. Ta-da! Look over there. This is the, the goalkeepers. Do a little bit of practice warm-up. Did anybody hear Manuela Zinsberger? There she is being asked what the most popular drink in the world is and she said tequila. <laughs> said nobody ever. Worst drink in the world. Yep. There we go. We've got our girlies in action. We're in the training session. So this is where the press had invited along um, to get pictures ahead of match day uh, to see the final session. It's always interesting, isn't it? Everybody's here. Look at the fans. Is that Kate McKay being an absolute nuisance? Yes, it is. Of course it is. We've got dishing out the water. Lovely. Oh, look, it's Lee Williamson. The legend. Oh, look, and Viviana Mayman. You see her? You see her? You see her? I see her. I see her. They're all here. It's quite wonderful, actually. It's fun. Let's touch the ball. Let's hold together the two of them. Yes! <laughs> We've got a really energetic coach over there, haven't we? Yes! <laughs> I was going to stop filming, but why when you can just capture all this wonderful freedom? It seems like they're having fun. It seems like a really good group. It's quite fun, two, isn't it? Three, Should I run in? Four. Should I take part? decide whether to just join in. Just imagine I went up there and I was like, any chance? I brought my boots. Can I play? Um, so I think we're going to have a sit down with Viviana Miedema, which is fun. And then Jonas Seedval, which is also fun. And then we're going to leave here. We're going to go to the Emirates and we're going to catch up with the Juventus team, watch their training session, see what's happening. And then we're going to speak to Joe Montemuro, which should be interesting, of course, because he is the former coach of Arsenal. So, um, yeah, it's just fun to be out here. Luckily it's dry. Oh, if it were raining, I would have been absolutely miserable. So we're now down in the dome. Uh, we've interviewed Viv and Julia C. Deval, which was a very good chat. So you can see them on the zone tomorrow night, Wednesday night. We're now going to speak to our women's football reporter, Alex Ibiseta, who knows everything about anything in the Women's Champions League. Hey, 
Um, so we've just left London Colney, the training centre. Been floating around there all day like a competition winner. It's been fabulous. Uh, and I've just stopped for a McDonald's because I was about to eat more on foot and that wouldn't be a pretty sight. Uh, next stop, we're going to the Emirates <clears throat> and um, Juventus are going to do an open training session there for the media. And then uh, I'm going to interview Joe Montemuro and Caruso. Um, so yeah, looking forward to having those chats, but so far today has just been absolutely lovely. Honestly, it does feel like I've won a competition and I probably shouldn't be floating around places like that because I'm probably a threat. I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, really good fun and nice to see friendly faces. It seems like a good place to be at the minute, a very, very good place to be. So yeah, it's been a, it's a fun day out. Also that McDonald's was maybe one of the best things I've ever eaten. I was that hungry that I had a McChicken sandwich and chips and then I had a side of chicken nuggets as well. But who else goes to McDonald's and gets water? I need to sort that out. That's a bit weird. I also need a cup of tea because I've not really had one today. So that'll be my next stop and then it's the Emirates. Ciao! Fair play to Arsenal. They do a lovely job with the festivities. That tree is just so beautiful. How nice is that? Wow, really, really nice. We're at the Diamond Lounge, look at that. So we have arrived at the Emirates and we're waiting to go and see Juventus. We're gonna watch them train for a little bit and then uh, speak to a couple of the members of their squad. But really good, just in the drive over. Um, from London Coney to North London thinking about all the things that Viviana Mira spoke about there. She's very hot on player welfare and making sure that uh, the right breaks happen between matches and how they have so much on their plates at the moment. And, you know, with her being a household name and, you know, a leading player in the women's game, um, there's a lot of pressure. Um, yeah, she's very openly spoke about that, which was nice. She said she went to Adelaide um, to see her friend for that that break period she was given. And then once we stopped filming, she said that she ended up seeing snakes on this hike that she was on. She said they had like these red tummies, so they'd Googled it. And it turns out that these poisonous snakes that probably could have done damage. Um, she said there was huntsman spiders everywhere and she said it was just mad, but she had seen everything and felt really good from the trip so it also looks like her game is better again from from that little break but good to hear her in such detail i just love how open and free she is um with her conversation and um jonas asked him about managing you know that that situation when a player comes to you um as the manager of a club you know how how do you deal with that and he said it's it's interesting because you can say no and be the man that always says no, or you can say yes, and then you have to say yes to every request. Um, so it's trying to find that balance. Um, but he also recognised massively the pressure that's on the likes of Viv. And if you don't score every game, does that make you a failure? Because people expect you to, and the difference between managing expectations and you know the actual performance as well. So. Very interesting interviews. Like I say, you can watch them on DAZN. Um, they're going to stream Wednesday evening, uh, the preview game and the build-up to Arsenal against Juventus here at the Emirates. Next stop, we're going to catch up with the Juventus peeps. A nice cold night at the Emirates on match day, minus one. She is. Oh, coming here, and weirdly, even though it's freezing, it always seems warmer here. There's Neil, the boss. There's some of the players doing their thing. I'm gonna try not stack it down all of these stairs. Alex, it's cold. <laughs> it's very cold. Alex works for Dazon. She knows everything and anything. Mm. Do you prefer the Eminence to any other stadium or what would be your favourite stadium? Camp Nou, I think it has to take first first place. I think it's because I was there for that 91,000 sellout 
and that sensation I think is never going to be good. Okay. It's hard. Fair um, enough. Fair enough. How do Emirates, Emirates is, is, is a close. I wish the thing that gets me with the Emirates and Champions League night specifically mm -hmm. is that there's not enough people that come to make it feel I know. like a big night. I know, but I think 8 o'clock mm. on Wednesday a Wednesday night is still a hard thing yeah. to get right, isn't mm -hmm. it? Because we all we all know at the weekends it's like you, you can't get a ticket now. Yeah. You know? It's crazy, but during the week. But then other people, like other countries mm. do it, so then what's That's the, true. That's true. Like the 91,000 was a Thursday evening, I think. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Week. See, I told you she knows everything. <laughs> Day done. That was fun, wasn't it? I really enjoyed that. I actually thoroughly enjoyed that chat there with um, uh, Caruso from Juventus and Joe Montemuro from Juventus as well. He makes you feel like you're really good pals with him and that you're close. He's such a likeable character, makes you feel really comfortable. He's very chatty uh, and very relatable. Um, and of course, he's got such an insight to the team as well because he managed them. You know, he won the league with Arsenal in 2019. Um, so yeah, really nice to talk to him, but he doesn't give much away. You feel that you're in there, but you're not. Um, and also... Um, Caruso, who had a big game at the weekend, got a good goal for Juventus in their derby game in the league, uh, which is a massive uh, achievement for the team. And the focus now will be on Champions League against Arsenal and how important that is as well. And we know Juventus have that upset in them because, of course, they knocked out. Well, they were the reason that Chelsea went out last time round um, in the group stages. So they can cause an upset and they have a good manager and they've got good attackers and they do that Montemuro ball um, you know attack and play and they're very defensive at the same time so it should be an interesting game tomorrow night but I hope you've enjoyed my little journey um, from London Coney to the Emirates and now back home sat in the garage just having a second um, please subscribe if you haven't already I've not even said that once today what's my problem and uh, hopefully we can recap hopefully we can recap an Arsenal win later on mm.